Welcome to the start of another restoration series. This time up, it is a predicted TV. I've done several of these in the past, but not this particular model, which is the Predict a Pedestal, also known as the Barber Pole because it's in a vertical stand. Now, I have done series on several Predict a Holidays, and I believe this has an identical chassis inside. So, although I haven't worked on one myself, I have read some online restoration diaries for guys who have. Uh, I got this was uh, dropped off by a local collector. I think he contacted me on eBay. I've been selling some stuff lately and I believe he sent me a message asking um, if I uh, worked on Predictas and I said indeed I do and uh, well he just showed up this morning with this set and I uh, thought I would take some time to bring it inside. I think a closer look inside. It's in very good condition and get this he found this in the garbage this is a curbside rescue I forget how many years ago he said it was but uh, finding one of these in this condition just for free on the curb is, is quite amazing and it actually kind of works as is cosmetically other than some scuffs up here which I already started buffing out uh, geez, I mean, it's in, it's in excellent condition. It's wood around there, I don't know if it's faux finish, probably. Uh, it's in excellent condition. This is just dirty plastic, that'll clean right up. All the knobs are present, including the very, very hard to find inner power knob. Uh, but it's got some issues, so, um, I'll show you in a moment, I'll power it up. Uh, it does not seem to get any reception. Just some static. Should be able to pick up a uh, local over the air channel six. Notice this has kind of come a bit loose too. It's the uh, fine tuning. So, and that's the general uh, condition of a lot of these things. The, the knobs are a bit loose. Controls seem to be dirty. Uh, so we can't get reception, and we've only, for the most part, got a thin vertical line but occasionally something starts clicking and working and we get about that much height. Now the first thing I wanted to do and the first thing I explained to him is the issues with these sets, primarily the pitcher tube. Now a lot of the other issues he doesn't have to worry about like cosmetics. He's got the cover and no cracks in it, uh, the band everything fits really well, a little, little bit of crud up here that'll buff out. Uh, he's got all the knobs, no issues with uh, trying to track out an antenna because his model didn't even have one as far as I know. Uh, so really it just comes down to the pitch. Oh, we know the flyback is good and uh, all the major circuitry because it turns on. It powers up and we get uh, a bit of a raster. However, I did test the pitcher tube and it is the original type of 21EAP4 low voltage, high failure rate pitcher tube. Uh, emissions, I'm not even going to bother hooking it back up. We got it up to about two. Uh, the cutoff was good though. Um, so well, we're going to go ahead with the restoration. Eventually try to track down a replacement pitcher tube, but we'll see what this one can do. Uh, I don't think he plans on using it as a daily, daily driver, as people call it with a TV that they watch every day. But uh, if he could power it up now and then to show us friends that uh that will be a treat so let's see if we can just turn on the power switch is flaky uh as i've adjusted this contrast control and this volume sometimes the power cuts in and out and the lights back here are not working out or uh, there should be at least one light bulb back here to illuminate this dock because without that it's really hard to tell if the thing's turned on until you start hearing something coming through. Oh, and you know what? Uh, I didn't turn on my power strips. Yeah. There we go. And normally I wouldn't uh, power something like this up without checking it out inside, but I already know. He said it turned on, and while he was here, we turned it on again. And of course, I have a lot of other outstanding projects. 
like this Stromberg, which is just about done. So I won't be diving into this right away. But uh, he wanted me to check it out and uh, see if it was worth working on. Yeah, I don't think this is powering up. See, uh, Philco had the brilliant idea of using a push-on, push-off switch. Nice idea, except that uh, you can't tell just by looking at it if it's such turn on or not. And looking through the slats in the back, I don't know where the tubes are exactly in this thing, but I can't really see them glow. Now I do have uh, a couple replacements of this on hand, and I know where I can get more if I need to. Not cheap, but they are out there. I got tired of trying to guess whether this thing was actually turning on or not, and then I just took that back cover off, which was not so easy to do. It was on there really tight with just age. But uh, considering what good condition it's in, I'll take it. So, there it is. Well, it has a pretty good sp size speaker in it. Tabletops are much smaller. Alright, so, it's the main chassis, speaker, controls, and tuner. Get a better look from this side. So yeah, that's that's your basic Predicta chassis, very similar. Again, yeah, uh, 9L37, same as used in the Holiday. And uh, very similar to the 38 used in the Tandem. So, tuner, IF. Uh, main sweep and uh, audio board, high voltage box. That's a damper tube right there. So, I'm going to grab a cheater cord and uh, try to power this sucker up again. Alright, cheater cord plugged in. And I wiggled that light bulb up there a little bit. It was just loose. So, uh, yeah, just like most predictors, power switch is flaky. Alright, not going to touch anything. <laughs> Let's let this thing warm up. Now we can see from the front the illuminated dial. Doing something. I got the brightness turned down, so I'm not. Uh, yeah, see, briefly there, I can get a bit of a raster. I got the brightness turned down, so I don't burn wine in the CRT. So this is all very, very promising. Flaky power switch, no biggie. Yeah, but we know all the major components are good, albeit a weak CRT is very restorable. Um, from just a quick poking around in here, I don't see that uh, any work has been done. Excuse my flaky flashlight. All the old bumblebee caps. Uh, I can see some non filco tubes, so at least some tubes have been changed. I don't think this board has ever been worked on. Which is cool, because that means nobody's been uh, monkeying with it and tinkering with things. So I uh, very much look forward to working on these, unlike uh, a lot of the other TV guys out there actually like working on these predictors. Once you do a few, it's very you should take these boards out to re and you get to know that all these wires are different colors and uh, I just take the board out and I shotgun everything and put it back in and uh, that's been working out pretty well for me. So be uh, on the lookout for a uh, Philco Predicta Pedestal restoration in the near future.